Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to the Thomas McCook Show. Thank you to all of you that have come to my channel and have subscribed. Thanks God, by this time we are reaching around the 2,000 subscribers to the channel. We thank you and we appreciate your support. It really means a lot to us. It's very, very important. We have been developing material about the Gaither vocal band and uh, for sure I know one thing mm, you have liked that a lot as I do like the Gaithers and all that brings a good emotion and a good feeling about it I at this very important time I just want to announce that uh, something I have been trying to display with um, with my my past programs is about West Hampton and David Phelps and this is the right time I want to talk about it I want to thank once more to all of you who have subscribed to my channel I will ask you if you can just click on the bell because every time we have material I would like you to watch about it I want to say that I didn't actually know that my video one hour singing with the Gators would have that sort of impact that just had with my my public thank you very much and i will try to do my best to keep going with a lot of these materials so you can watch at this very time i want to talk about wes hampton and david phelps i promised in the past that i will talk about this and i just have to clarify once more that i want i want to say well wes is better than david or david is better than wes hampton we are just gonna talk about the quality the qualities of both voices they have different styles and they have its personal hint and we need to know the difference So we just have to remember one very important thing. Wes Hampton has been with the Gaither vocal band for 18 years. So that has to mean something to us. That means that he really paid off. If, if we ever talk about David Phelps, even the members of the vocal band have called David as the voice. So that is quite interesting. And it's because if you ever listen to David Phelps, in a performance you can realize well this is david phelps actually singing so the first aspect i would like to talk about both of them is the fiato and, and i'm going to explain a little bit about what a fiato is the fiato is the capacity that the tenor or a singer has to sustain a note for a long time Let's see an example of this so we can realize what we're talking about here. So as we can see, David is capable to hold very, very, very long notes. That is one of the capacities that David Phelps has as a tenor, and we have to recognize that Wes Hampton also has this capacity. The thing is how they project the voice in the way that can be identified. You know, probably you have heard a phrase that the habit makes the monk. And if he doesn't make the monk, then identifies him. So th this is why you can always listen to a vocal singer and you can realize, well, this is, this is the singer or that is that singer. So the difference in the voice is what actually makes the singer to be as an individual being recognizable to all those who listen to them. Both of these 
tenors, wonderful tenors, they have the capacity to sustain long, long notes. That requires a lot of breathing capacity and a lot of technique to project a tune. So it's wonderful to listen to them at this wonderful thing. The second aspect is actually the resonance capacity. And this, my friends, is what actually makes David Phelps a very recognizable tenor. Wes Hampton has a more melodious voice in this aspect. David has a more hidden power in this category. So the resonance capacity is how the tenor is capable to take a note or take a tune and prints all the resonance possible right in here and then display that on a way that can be resounding a little bit more. So it's not the same that we do Let freedom ring Like Let freedom ring So it, that is what we call resonance capacity Like the way they project the note Into a more significant tune The third aspect is actually The pulmonary capacity And this is important I want to talk specifically about this very important song where no one stands alone. And at the end of the song, we can listen to um, David in this case, how he goes from a high note to a lower one without missing the point. So the pulmonary capacity is that what the tenor has to kind of have two different types of notes in a different way. The fourth aspect I would like to talk about both tenors, Wes Hampton and David Phelps, wonderful, magnificent tenors, is actually the bolisma capacity. And is how they can play in the high notes. This is amazing how you can be in a very high level, like displaying a very, very huge note, and even upstairs, you can be able to play with a note. Let's see how this happens in these tenors. The number five is actually the interbell dominion. How, the, how these wonderful tenors can realize the distance between two notes, note and note, and even though have a dominion of the voice, they can literally play with this. Let's see how this is fulfilled in Wes and David. <laughs> Holy 
As a number six, the passaggio is the Italian terminology in classical singing describes how they can pass between vocal ranges. One of the examples that I really like a lot is how you can see David singing Just As I Am, a very important song, and how he can go from low notes to high notes. This is incredible. Let's see this in David and in West Hampton. Let's enjoy this. As my number seven, I really like a lot when a musician can display a vocal range on a high level and they can phrase right upstairs. I remember David singing, singing He is Alive, and at the end of the song he says, he is alive, but just speaking, and how they can phrase in the upper ranges. Wes Hampton, I, I love how his melodious voice goes upstairs and he can phrase in the upper notes. Let's enjoy this moment. Let's enjoy this in both tenors. The stairs capacity is um, probably very close to what we know as passaggio and is the capacity to go like in a stair, like a step by step, from a lower note to a higher note. And finally, my friends, the vocal range is very, very important. Once I talked to a friend and I was like, well, what do you think about David and, and Wes Hampton? and how high they can reach. And he said, well, a lot of people, a lot of people have the same vocal range as David and Wes Hampton. The problem with that is, is how to project a voice in the way that can be listened to. The way that the voice is beautiful, the way that you can identify the singer by the voice. And is not only the vocal range, is also the message that comes printed in the voice of the singer. Thank you, my friends, once again for coming to my channel. I will ask you once again to subscribe, leave your comments, click on the bell for new videos, and then I would appreciate any time that you give us a comment that makes us a lot, a lot better. Until the next time, I am Anibal Alfonso, and I will wait you here in the Thomas Backcook Show.